Hi folks and welcome back to HRD TV. I'm Carrie, Managing Director here at HR Define, and this is a channel where we help people and organizations amplify their impact. Today, we are going to explore the three levels of strategy that every HR professional needs to understand. This topic is key for those preparing for your SHRM HR exam, particularly within the business acumen competency and for the HRCI exam as it ties directly into the strategic planning and management functional area. Knowing how these levels of strategy work together will help you to see the bigger picture and understand how your role in HR fits into the overall success of the organization. So let's break down these three levels of strategy. The first is organizational strategy. Organizational strategy is the big picture vision for the entire company. It focuses on where the organization wants to go in the long term and sets the overarching goals that will guide all other strategies. A great example of organizational strategy can be seen in IKEA's global strategy. IKEA's organizational strategy focuses on offering well-designed, functional home furnishings at prices so low that as many people as possible can afford them. This vision shapes everything IKEA does, from product development to store layout, and ensures that all parts of the business are aligned with this long-term goal. But what about when we zoom in a bit? That's where business unit strategies come into play. Business unit strategies are about how individual parts of the company contribute to the overall vision. They focus on specific areas where the company can create value and compete effectively. I want you to take Disney as an example. Disney's business unit strategy for its theme parks is different from the strategy for its media networks. For the parks, the strategy focuses on creating immersive experiences that draw millions of visitors each year, while the media network strategy might focus on creating and distributing content that leverages its vast library of characters and stories. Each business unit strategy is aligned to Disney's overall organizational strategy of delivering exceptional entertainment experiences. Now, how do these strategies translate into action on the ground? That's where operational strategy comes into play. Operational strategy is about turning the big picture goals into specific actions within departments. It's how the strategic vision is executed in day-to-day -day operations. Let's look at Toyota, for example. They are known for their operational excellence. Toyota's operational strategy focuses on lean manufacturing, which is all about eliminating waste and maximizing efficiency. This strategy is implemented across all its plants and functions, ensuring that the broader goals of quality and efficiency are met at every level of the organization. But here's the key. All these levels of strategy must be aligned. HR plays a crucial role in ensuring that the organizational, business unit, and operational strategies are interwoven and aligned. The HR strategy must be consistent with the organizational strategy and support other functional strategies. For example, if IKEA's organizational strategy is to offer affordable products, HR needs to focus on workforce planning, talent acquisition, and development strategies that emphasize efficiency and cost effectiveness. Every policy, program, and process should be evaluated for its strategic impact, ensuring that HR resources are spent on activities that add value throughout the employment cycle, from workforce planning and talent acquisition to engagement and retention, rewards, and leadership development. By understanding and aligning these three levels of strategy, organizational, business unit, and operational, HR professionals can ensure that they are contributing to the overall success of their organization. If you'd like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.